What's happening, Gavin? This your boy, CB Hunts. And look what just showed up on my doorstep today. Well, not really on my doorstep. Had this on my paw for a while. But this is the Bandai's SH Figure Arts Sailor Moon Animation Color Edition Sailor Penis. Man. I got most of the all wave. I'm down right now to the last two. So I got this bag over here. And the next up will be Sailor Moon. But trust me, I'm not going to have this intro long. So let's take this bag around the house so, so we can see what she's all about. got this bad girl in the house like I said about all the other packaging it's about the same thing with this one I do like the packaging of the of the SH figure Sailor Moon figures they were, they were like uh, vibrant colors nice artwork on the boxes you can see the figure inside don't see everything all comes with it see the figure on the front on the side got a little pose of Sailor Venus Got her room right there on top, and on the other side, got her with the same room name, but this time it's showing off, showing off her uh, silhouette. And on the back of the box, showing off the figure, showing all she uh, comes with, and different, different, different posing in the back. But trust me, once we get back, we will have this bad girl out the box and we'll see what it do <laughs> with a sailor <laughs> and now we got this bag out of the box man I gotta show you she comes a lot and she got with, come with one main key part of the show I think that makes it that has a show well, I don't make it say good but I kind of like it though, but before we talk about anything else, we'll talk about everything she comes with, and you know with all the Sailor Moon Guardians, they come with their own stand, their own heart shaped stand as you can see, got her uh, picture on there, of her uh, alouette, got her name, as you can see, there you go. And got the end holder up because trying to put them on the shelf and these heels ain't gonna work. So you actually have to uh, have this right here. And with Sailor Venus, it's coming with a lot of hands. Do all the hand gestures that she does on the show and facial expressions. So these are the hands that she actually uses to do most of her, her gestures and power changes and everything else and this is her face sculpts for smiling uh, mad and she like like, uh, like like this face here <laughs> but before we get to other parts We'll talk about Sasha Venus's power that she has, but she has like a like a bunch of with hers. One of the main ones she uses is is a crescent beam smash. I like the power. I forgot. I forgot like like what power does. But I just know how it looks. 
like I said, you know, that was you hang the scene, the show in a while, and everything else, so, at least I can find the image of the stuff so I can show off each one. So the next one she uses is her Venus Love and Beauty Shock. So that right there to kind of put them in a stun mode. I do, I do, do like remember that right there. And they also has the, uh, the uh, Oling Heart vibration. The way it looks on the old school and the the newer the new crystals, they changed it up a little bit. So I tried to get the picture for the old school, but it didn't want to work. So this is the one for, from the uh, crystals. And Venus also has one of the the uh, Venus Love Me. Love me, uh, shame. <laughs> so, this is what she used right here, like, like a little, like a little piece off her belt, as it seems like, that she has. And last but not least, is her penis, her, like, uh, uh, ink chain sword. This uses, like, uh, they have a weapons. Makes it hard and turns it hard to a sword. And that's the one thing I was surprised that she didn't have uh, in this package. So, I was kind of surprised on that. But, from the start of Adelaide, she was one of the first guardians that, that would ever appear as a guardian in the anime. But, she got known as Seder, Seder Venus. Her nickname in the thing was a uh, sailor. <laughs> she was more like she was more like the the of vigilante the of the of vigilante of the show at the beginning. And with that, she held she held well she held a the mask of sailor mostly the top of have glasses that she has so you want to change her hair in the front this is the part of the hair the front the mask you see the glasses that she has you just take the front of the eggs right on in so another thing with uh set up Sailor D, when she finally revealed herself, she always takes the glasses out and show them, hold it in her hand, saying, Yeah, that's me. Like that. She's got, the, she's got the little hand at the end, trying not to drop it. It's already formed on the, on the glasses. Like that. See right there. Last thing she comes with is a cat. Could really stand her up on this because my surface on the table is not too like flat, especially for a figure that I can't really change the legs on it because they're already pre-set. But the head only moves is at its actual head. So this is the the official pet slash I will say a guide of the. Uh, of the whole squad is Sailor Sailor Penis's cat Artemis. As you can see here, all body is one simple body, the only that moves is it's, it's a tail and the head turns around like that. And Artemis helps help finds the other guardians. Tell who's who and everywhere else. Uh, I think I think Artemis is, is a high power being. If, if, if I'm wrong, uh, <laughs> help me out in the comments. But that's what I believe Artemis is. But, but uh, I could be wrong. So 
we're gonna talk about the main girl, girl herself. Taylor mm -hmm. Venus. I love the way the costume looks on her. Got the more of a light orange type look. Got more of every purplish blue type on it. All over, over, over a school uniform. A little bit of golden ball right there. With the face and the eyes kind of the eyes kind of kind of like ash the bonnet, the golden hair. Back has a bow, more of like a, a like a red in the back, but on the back of the dress is more of a golden type bow. Like I said, I love the type of suits that they have. Is more of like the the uh, Japanese schoolgirl, I guess, type of type of dress and outfit that they had back in the '80s, so like that. Right there, had a long legs with the orange high heels, as you can see, and with her hair like like a sailor Mars. It's articulated and it also fans out, as you can see, fans out a little bit. So you can even put it back, do it like this. So it's just very, very detailed on that part there. So saying all that, we'll go with Sailor Venus' articulation. So she can't really head back too far because of the type of hair it has. Look down that much. With the arms, you gotta aim a certain certain way to get her in a certain position so on the way that much she has a single elbow you can see got a hinge in the wrist right there for the ball, the ball hinge around upper movement the waist here turn up to right she does have movement in her, in her lower waist around the dress so you can turn left and right I think the other one did too uh Sailor Mars by any chance it showed it off I apologize for that doesn't split that much kick, kick forward that much kick that far back double knees as you can see Go back that far. Four about that much. And she does, she has like a little bit of angle rocker, just a little bit, but not too much there. So, all in all, you're going to get at least a few of these Sailor, um, Sailor Guardians. I think the main six should do and trust me she, she is part of the main six and this is my review of the bandai's sh figure arts sailor moons animation color edition sailor moon uh, uh, yes. hope y'all enjoyed this review trust me go ahead and find out making it and you know with every review i will take pictures this man is wearing my hair, but I will leave links down below. If you want to check those out. And the boys on TikTok. Well, I take those same pictures, I post over there. I just add a little, little bit of flair. This year, boys, CB Hunts. Hope you have a blessing. And trust me. I can't wait to catch you in that next one.